Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Franchise Player and we're doing a 30 day challenge of me only playing a Game Boy Advance SP. So the Game Boy Advance was the first console I ever got that was mine. Like when I was three or four years old, like my dad had a PS1 and you know, we'd play that together. But the Game Boy Advance was the first system I ever got that was mine. But yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun challenge to only play one system for an entire month. I'm sure in the future I'll do some 30 day challenges with other systems or consoles, but I thought the Game Boy Advance would be a really fun one to do because I have a, a decent library of games to choose from, right? I have Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and OG Game Boy. So um, I don't have a ton of games. Um, I have a, a decent amount right now. I just ordered one today. When that comes in in the next few days, I'll, I'll show you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing 30 days only Game Boy Advance and the rules I have for it are fairly simple. I'm not going to be like crazy strict, but my goal is to play on original hardware. I'll only play on original hardware. If this SP bites the dust, I don't know how much life it has, you know, left in it. I'll just pick up another SP uh, or play on my, you know, fat original DS until a new SP gets in in the meantime. So I want to use original hardware, no emulators, I cannot play any other systems, so my Switch, my Vita, my PS5, PS3, my Xbox One, everything else is going to be on the sidelines, dude. I think this is going to be a really interesting challenge because I think something, you know, with the era we live in, you know, in modern gaming, if you're a game collector, it's almost like analysis paralysis, dude. I don't know how many times that, like, I've started a game on a system and just not gotten back to it because that, like, there's so many choices out there. You have so many games at your fingertips. It's like super hard to just pick something and stay with it. So I think it'll be super fun to just, you know, stick with a Game Boy Advance, stick with, you know, the Game Boy Advance library, Game Boy Color, original Game Boy. I think this will be a really fun 30 days. I think it'll be interesting, man, because, you know, the, the GBA has not been, you know, my sole console since I was like five years old. So I think this is gonna be a fun 30 days. Let me know some games below that um, you guys love on Game Boy. I'm open to checking new ones out, but um, yeah, I have a decent selection of games to start with and uh, I'll show you what I got and what I'll be playing this month. I wanted to show off what Game Boy games I'm actually gonna be playing for this challenge. And, you know, I don't have a huge collection of, you know, GBA, Game Boy Color, or original Game Boy games, but you know, we do have some decent titles. And, you know, a couple of these I, I played as a kid a couple of them I haven't played before, and um, I have a, another game in the mail, and I'll, and I'll probably pick up a couple other games this month to add to the uh, arsenal of Game Boy games here. So, first up, we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. I've actually never played this, got it at a garage sale. Right here, we have uh, Mario Advance. Got this at the Experience Share. It's a local game store in Alameda. Japanese version, but hey, it's a Mario game, dude. Doesn't matter if it's an English or uh, Japanese to me. Uh, we have both of the Golden Sun games, which that Golden Sun, the first one I have is super dirty. Got that at a garage sale a while back, but it'll be really fun to dive into the Golden Sun series over this month because I've actually never played either of the Golden Sun games on GBA. Um, this was a recent pickup. This was literally like three or four bucks. Got this at a local game store, Wild Thornberries. It was an old cartoon I watched back in the day and it looks like it's a platformer, so I'm assuming nothing crazy. Um, right here we have Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. I actually had this game back in the day when I was a kid and it's just a platformer. It's nostalgic, man, it's Jimmy Neutron. I used to watch that a ton when I was a kid. Um, I had this game back in the day when I was super young too. I remember having this in like third grade. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshif of Destruction. Um, I think that's more of like an RPG style Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And right here we have Donkey Kong Country. Um, never played the original on SNES, that was way before my time. Um, this came out originally all the way back in 94. I had this on Game Boy Color when I was super little. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country, man. It'll be fun to actually get through this on GBA. I think it still looks pretty good. And you know, Donkey Kong Country is really timeless, man. You can't go wrong with Donkey Kong. Um, this was another semi-recent pickup as well, was the Scorpion King. Sword of Osiris, and this looks like a kind of side-scrolling Metroidvania beat-em-up type game, platformer, so should be fun, man. It was like three, or, I think it was what, maybe like four or five bucks, something like that, so can't complain. It was something new to add to the, uh, the arsenal here of Game Boy games. Right here, um, this is actually a repo copy of Pokemon Ruby, but works and plays like the real one. 
So I'm not tripping if it's a fake. And uh, Ruby is just such a classic game, man. It's really hard to beat Gen 3. So looking forward to starting this up on the challenge as well. Right here we have Mega Man Extreme. So can't go wrong with a Mega Man game. Really looking forward to playing this. You know, the Mega Man X games are just so, so sick, man. And we also have Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I have no idea if the save battery still works on this, so I'll try it out. Fingers crossed it works and saves, but I'm, you know, with the age, I'm not sure if it's going to, man, but we'll at least give it a shot. And then last but not least, we have a Wario Blast here featuring Bomberman. So it's a Bomberman type game with Wario. Uh, looks it up online, looks like it might be kind of fun, so it'll be fun to try this out. Also got this at a garage sale a while back. So it's day one of the challenge, wanted to get some gaming in before I started work, and I was gonna roll with Donkey Kong Country this morning, got my coffee poured up, and I'm ready to get at it. The Game Boy Advance startup sound is so nostalgic, dude. It's gotta be easily one of the best console startups or handheld startup sounds ever. All right, what's up guys? So we're on day two of the challenge and I already had a bit of uh, an issue on the first night. So I was gonna play some Donkey Kong before bed. GBA needed to be charged, thought it was charging. And turns out my charger was broken. So I had to go on Amazon last night, order a new charger. Luckily this came within a day, dude. So yeah, we're on day two of the challenge. Uh, so far it's feeling good, man. I'm, I'm enjoying playing the ESP. Um, I actually am not minding the screen too much, but one thing I've noticed so far with like just only playing older games, mind you, it's literally been a day, is that, you know, you really focus on the soundtrack of the game and, you know, pay more attention to small details. And I don't know, so far that's what I'm really noticing is just the soundtrack. Also the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack is amazing. So that might be it, but um, yeah, new charger. Um, luckily this came in like not even a full day, got this, like eight, nine bucks off Amazon. And uh, day two, we're going strong. Tonight, I'm gonna probably gonna play some more Donkey Kong and I'll probably throw in another game. So just got back from dinner. It's still day two. It's around, well, it's a little after eight o'clock right now. And so far, things are going good. That charger I got in the mail from uh, Amazon, um, it actually works. Luckily, it felt hella cheap. So I was kind of worried that it wouldn't charge. But um, I have Donkey Kong Country in the GBA right now. Probably gonna fire this up, maybe play another level or so. But I'm probably gonna jump into a, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards tonight and change it up a bit. It's kind of weird, man, around this time of night, you know, I had dinner, done with work for the day, I'd probably be firing up the PS5, uh, you know, playing something online with some of my boys or playing a story-driven game. It's interesting, you know, only playing one system and not having, you know, hundreds if not thousands of games to choose from, you know, if you're a big physical collector or have, you know, a modded system. So it's actually nice just hopping in and only having a selection of a few games. But yeah, so far, day two, I'm still enjoying it. I have a feeling maybe in like a week or so, maybe then I'll really start to miss my PS5 or Switch. But for now, loving the challenge so far and having a really good time. All right, guys, so it's day five of the 30-day Game Boy Challenge, and uh, it's a nice Saturday morning. Gonna start it off sipping this uh, Costco coffee right here, a little Costco cold brew, man. And we're gonna be playing some Mario Advance. And uh, this is a Japanese Mario Advance that I have, but it doesn't really matter. GBA is region free, luckily. So if it's a game you don't need to read, you're pretty much good to go. But yeah, we'll fire up some of the, uh, the Mario Advance, probably play that for the next, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes or so. Then I might head out a little later today, do some game hunting and look for some Game Boy games. Pretty low key weekend. It's day nine of me only playing Game Boy for 30 days. And uh, so far I'm having a good time, man. I beat Donkey Kong Country and um, that was a fun time. I mean, that game came out all the way back in 94 and you know, obviously it came out on Game Boy later on, but it was a fun game, good soundtrack. I couldn't really put it down. There's definitely some frustrating levels. And now we're jumping into a different game Super Mario Advance. I've actually never played this all the way through and that's what I'm kind of liking about this challenge so far. So I'm able to dive into some older games that you know maybe I have some nostalgia for like Pokemon Ruby for example and I can try out some games that I never played back in the day. So nine days in, uh, am I missing modern games? N not as much as I, I thought I would but for the meantime we're playing some Game Boy 
and we're having a good time. So it's day 16 of the Game Boy Challenge and going strong still, having a good time. Definitely starting to miss uh, current gen stuff a bit though, but over the weekend, picked up a couple new games, got Spyro Season of Ice, had this game back when I was a kid, and I don't know what it is, but Spyro always seems like a, a PlayStation franchise, even though it's been multi-plat for a long time now. And then, um, really good deal on this. I had a $10 credit on Mercari, so I was able to pick up uh, Mario Kart Advance. This is the Japanese version, but it's a, uh, it's a Mario Kart game, dude, so it's not really gonna matter if it's in Japanese. Really fun to play, having a good time with this so far. And then I'm saying probably about four or five hours into Pokemon Ruby so far as well. And uh, I think I'm at the third gym, which is Watson. Definitely nice to add a couple bangers to the uh, list of games I have. It's day 24 of the Game Boy Challenge and uh, it's almost nine, you know, been a long day, went grocery shopping after work and gonna chill out, play some more Game Boy. And I've been going hard on Pokemon Ruby. I'm eight badges deep, I'm in Victory Road, so I'll be, battling the Elite Four soon. And um, yeah, Gen 3 is super nostalgic, man. It's my, my favorite era of Pokemon ever, probably just because you know, that was the era I was you know super young and really got like super into Pokemon. But um, yeah, got you know a week left, you know six days left on this challenge. And uh, it's been fun so far. I, I haven't been able to play as much Game Boy this month or just gamed you know, really in general, as much as I would have liked to this month. So it's been nice, you know, after a long day, chill out, lay down on the couch, you know, post up here in the office or, you know, chill out in the bedroom and just play some Game Boy, dude. A game you can hop in and really chill out, not have to sink a ton of time into. But um, I wanted to talk about a couple of games that I have been playing a decent amount. And, um, you know, I beat Donkey Kong Country. That was awesome. I uh, had a great time. Soundtrack's great level design like each level was unique which i really liked and you know the game holds up super well if you've never played donkey kong country dude highly recommend it eventually i'll probably want to play donkey kong country 2 and 3 this was amazing another one that i've been having a ton of fun playing a mario kart super circuit or mario kart advance as it called uh, as it's called in japan and uh, i got this for you know super cheap on mercari man i think it ended up being like six bucks or something like that because i had a a $10 code on Mercari, or it was like a promo thing or whatever. At this point, I definitely am looking forward to playing back, uh, going back and playing some more modern stuff like, you know, Switch, PS5, PS4, even 3DS stuff. But um, yeah, I've had a good time. And, you know, eventually in the future, I definitely think I'll probably do this again with other consoles. And this weekend, I wanted to start um, a new franchise, a new game. Um, I'll probably throw in some Mario Kart here and there just to keep killing some time, even though I already beat it but um, I wanna probably throw in and try out Golden Sun for the first time. Um, that's a game that is probably gonna take way more time than like five or six days to dive into, so I might end up playing it a little after the challenge. It's been really interesting going back and just playing one console, especially one that was literally my first console ever that was like truly mine. And um, you know, it's over 20 years old and it's, it's really interesting to see how far like gaming has come, not to sound like hella cheesy, but um, yeah, it's been really cool just to kind of look back and be like, hey, this was a simpler time, a simpler era. I hope you guys are having a good time watching the challenge. And uh, I would recommend trying it. You know, maybe not with the Game Boy. Let's say you have like an original Xbox or a PS1 or something. It might be kind of cool to play that for only 30 days and, you know, see what kind of perspective it gives you. So it's been a little over a week since I finished the challenge up and I wanted to give some final thoughts. There was definitely some pros and cons to doing this challenge. And let's start off with the pros. First off, it was really cool to just go back and realize how amazing the Game Boy Advance was. It was such a great device. I mean, the good games really held up and then some of the bad games, you know, really showed. So I think that's kind of with any system though, is like the great games are, are pretty much always gonna stand the test of time and the bad ones from their era are gonna look even worse today. So the bangers like, you know, Mario Kart, Super Mario Advance, Donkey Kong Country, you know, Pokemon Ruby, Mega Man Extreme, all those games hold up really well. And then some of the, you know, worst games, the licensed games are, you know, not as good and really are kind of a product of their time. Another pro of doing a challenge like this is it can really help you get through a backlog if you have a huge backlog of games, which I know a lot of gamers do nowadays, whether it's physical or digital. People have tons of games that they haven't touched and definitely want to dive into. 
As for a con, you know, a lot of people may not want to stick with one system for 30 days. So if you're wanting to do this, maybe start out with two weeks, see how you're feeling and keep it moving from there if you're having a good time. Overall, I had a great time doing this video. It was a lot of fun just playing Game Boy for a month straight. Hope you enjoyed the video and as usual, appreciate you for watching and we'll catch you soon with another video.